Gib Singleton, America's foremost biblical and Western sculptor, has passed away. His accomplishments include creating the genre known as emotional realism and creating the 14 Stations of the Cross in bronze. Born in 1935 in Kennett, Missouri, Singleton's natural abilities became apparent at an early age. He earned a degree in art education at Southern Illinois University, won a full scholarship to the Art Institute of Chicago, and a Fulbright scholarship to study at the Academy of Fine Arts in Florence, Italy. Singleton was later recruited by the Vatican Workshop, where he helped to restore numerous priceless paintings and sculptures, including Michelangelo's Pieta, after it was vandalized in 1972. After returning from Europe, Singleton headed the sculpture department at Fairfield University, then moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico to pursue Western art. While some critics saw this move as a divergence from his spiritual works, Singleton contended there was no difference between the two. Anytime your subject is a human being, he said, it's a spiritual work. Singleton hoped in time he would be remembered for two things. First was bringing the concept of emotional realism into the art world. He believed the feelings a piece of art evokes are just as real as the piece itself and that the ability to evoke powerful emotions is the mark of great art. Second was helping to bring spiritual art into the mainstream in America. There are a lot of things that make no objective sense if we try to analyze them, Singleton said. Yet they do make sense, a great deal of sense, if we approach them with our hearts instead of our heads. That's how I try to work. I'd never run out of things to do, but the only thing that's hurt me about it is light. I'm running out of light. You know, my, my biggest regret, when this was all constructed, you know, from a universal plan of, of God's, um, that he didn't give us more than one light. I wish he'd give us nine like he did the cat. <laughs> one life just isn't enough. But it'll be interesting to see what's, what's on the other side of the thing. And I really believe there's something over there, man. There has to be, because this one is so beautiful. Singleton leaves behind a long list of family and friends, devoted collectors and fans, and spiritual leaders of the world, who all came to love not only his amazing art, but also the humble cowboy who created such powerful pieces.